Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial of SailFlow 2.0 add-on for Blender for the creation uh, of sails. Today we're going to discuss how to make panels out of the sail you just designed and out of which you've just done a very nice profile. Uh, to start with I will go with the usual uh, routine of creating a sail which is Shift A, add a sail this is a sale of the first video example uh, as I said before in case I don't have that and uh, I can always recall it using the operator preset because I saved example sale okay so I have it at the moment it's still flat I need to put some uh, some shade to it some oh sorry some profile to it I click profile generator <coughs> I choose NACA 4 because it's the simplest one 9% depth and with a camber at 30%. I uh, right click and I sh look, I select shade smooth, sorry. I shade smooth and things look more smoother. And I can check and oh, I like this profile. That's the sale I want. Okay, so I go to uh, top view, which is numpad 7 on a PC, and then <coughs> I want to develop the panels and that is the name the technical name for it i have to go in edit mode so i press tab we already learned about it in previous video i go to uh, face selection mode okay although in this first example maybe it's not so essential my cell it's okay i'm sure it's developable developable it's not too complicated as a shape um, i'll explain in a second what i mean with that what i then have to do is that i develop everything i click I wait a second and voila, all my panel has been developed. I go to my sale, I tell that I don't want to see it. These are all my panels, okay? They're all flat and this is what I have to cut and stitch together to have my sale. All right, good. So what is additional things I need to know? Let's remove this, those panel from view and <clears throat> I want to see the sale back. Okay, let's take one panel which is particularly critical, which is this the first one. Okay, what I mean for problem with making a panel. I made a small example for you so you can understand what I'm talking about. I suppose I have this shape. You see here, right? This shape is obviously <coughs> very difficult to develop. I mean, I would not be able to cut a sail cloth in a way that when I stitch it back together with other panel around it will give me this shape it is impossible right and if I try to develop this uh, this panel with uh, with sail flow it will give me tons of error it is not possible okay I can try just for the fun of it uh, to to develop it and um, and I can say that develop uh, selected faces it will think about it a bit and it will give me a terrible error afterwards. First of all, it said, look, this, so the surface is seriously not developable. You really have problem with this. That is something which appear very seldom, but in this case it does. Uh, if I look here, it really give me, <coughs> when I go to tab, it really show me where the fabric has been stretched because otherwise it would not be possible to make it. And the other uh, indication that something is not okay is that the maximum stretch stress that I have in the cloth by making it flat, basically how much I'm stretching it, is a lot. I mean, this number is a number which is interesting for me, not much for you, for, for the algorithm itself. But it should be in the order of 3, 4, 5% maximum. And now this one tell me, I'm try, tells me I'm trying to develop a surface that can't be developed. So the only way out of this is uh, to cut the surface in, in smaller pieces. Um, let me go to edit mode. In smaller pieces, because with smaller pieces, they can be developable. For, for instance, this one, I say develop selected face and is 27 percent which is okay probably i can find sorry probably i can find a better cut of this uh, of this surface and better select in in pieces to to have something more feasible 
I don't want to spend time doing it because it will not be interesting for you. So let's remove this example at the moment. But that is the idea. There are surfaces that cannot be developed. To give you an example, <coughs> uh, again, uh, if I try to develop this right away, it gives me 5.7% 5, 5 of stress in the cloth, which is still okay, but is an indication that this is an area of concern. What I should have been done, maybe, if I knew about it, was that the paneling here in this area should have been done in a different way. Maybe I should have had one panel like that, for instance, or something similar. Um, to give you an idea how this can be uh, complicated, let's say I go back to this uh, view, I go to Profile Generator, and I exaggerate my camber. Okay, so now the curvature in this point is pretty extreme, as you see, and let me try. Let me try now to develop it. Okay, 322% of stress. This is not okay. This is too much. Let me see how the the panel looks like. It is not too bad. I could use it. The uh, end shape is uh, probably not the one I intended uh, of my sale. And the option I have <coughs> available are either to divide the panel in a different way, I can do this manually, or uh, I can try to run a stress relief algorithm which try to, to smooth the, the area of the cloth where there is more stress and distribute it more evenly. The stress will be still be here, there, but it will more be even. So I can decide how many stress loops I want to run. The more, uh, the better, but the longer it takes. If you don't mind to wait, it's not a problem. So it was 322%. Let's put 1,000, which is a very high number. And let's click Develop Selected Faces. So now we have to wait probably 5, 6, 10 seconds to wait for the algorithm to go through all the net here that you see and try to to release and to remove this stress between nodes, uh, basically mimicking what uh, a real cloth will do. Okay, and now we have <coughs> a max stress percent of 4%, stress of 4%. So in doing that, he is managed to, to remove this, uh, these stresses. Uh, I must admit, you can see here, you still have some issues. So it's not perfect in this area over here, but it's uh, it's okay. And that's basically everything there is to say about developing your uh, your cloth, your panel, sorry. And uh, in a different video, I will describe how you have to print it and um, and, and plot it for, uh, for stitching them together. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you, guys.